Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. Everyone, welcome to the show. So 36-year-old New York resident Jonathan Manafo is described by the prosecutor as a, quote, sporadically employed and chronically homeless individual with a history of violence. And they say that in the year leading up to the Capitol attack, he, quote, dedicated himself to following the former president around the country, camping out for the various rallies and speeches. On January 6th, Manafo headed straight to the Lower West Terrace Tunnel, and he was seen pushing his way to the front of the police line. Um, The prosecutor says that once he got there, he was jabbing at the officer's shields. He was swinging his arm down over the top of the shields, trying to hit the police. He then left the tunnel sometime later, and he was cheering as others stole an officer's police shield. Then they saw him, or he's seen on video, I should say, scaling or trying to scale a Capitol wall next to the tunnel. Um, That was unsuccessful. So then he was seen on video using two different poles. He was striking a window. Uh, This was a window you guys will will know about. It was like an arched window of a Senate office. It was near the tunnel. So he managed to crack the window, but he didn't actually break it. Um, This is the office, by the way, where people ultimately did shatter the window. They climbed into the building and they were breaking apart the furniture and then they were handing it out to use as weapons. Well, after he attempted to break the window, Manafa was seen on video sucker punching an officer two different times. Um, And then he was trying to rip his riot shield away from him. And they said that on the second punch, the officer's head snapped backward And Manafo pried the shield away from him at that point, and then he took off into the crowd with it. So Manafo was arrested on April 26th of 2021, and he was charged with civil disorder, assaulting officers, obstructing an official proceeding, entering restricted grounds with a dangerous weapon, two counts of disorderly conduct, one of which included a dangerous weapon enhancement, three counts of physical violence, one of which also included a dangerous weapon enhancement, and theft of government property. Manafo pleaded guilty to two felonies in April of 2023, the assaulting officer's charge and civil disorder. So he faced up to eight years in prison, three years of probation and 250,000 in fines. But the prosecutor requested only 37 months in prison, three years of probation and 2000 in restitution. This is a joke. When you look at his history, when you guys hear about his extensive violent criminal history, you are going to be screaming at the computer. In 2003, Manafa was arrested three separate times that year. The first time was for attacking his father with a metal vacuum handle. For that crime, he took a plea for a second degree menacing charge with a weapon. Um, The other two arrests that year were for criminal contempt for violating a protection order. Don't know if that was related to his father. In 2007, Manafa was charged with fourth degree criminal possession of a weapon, attempted second degree menacing, and other related charges. Um, Those charges were later dismissed as part of a plea deal in 2008 when he was again charged with criminal contempt for again violating a protection order. So he received only 90 days in jail that time. Then in July of 2022, Manafo pointed what was believed to be a gun at a family, like they had children in the car. This was during a road rage incident. Um, When the police searched his vehicle, they found, quote, law enforcement grade pepper spray. They also found spent ammunition shells and he had no valid driver's license. They gave him a finger wagging for all of those crimes. They told him, don't you dare commit any more crimes in the next two years. Yeah, but according to the sentencing memo, quote, he did not abide by that court order. He did not even try. Two months after that incident, in September of 2020, Manafo was arrested again for assault of either an elderly or disabled individual as well as unlicensed operation of a motor vehicle. He failed to appear in court for that case, 
And then he repeatedly called and threatened to kill the emergency line operators at a Massachusetts state police office. In November of 2020, Manafo was arrested again, and he was charged for assaulting a police officer, also assaulting several other victims. Part of this passage is redacted, but it notes that Manafo also assaulted officers who were assigned to guard him, and he used racial and ethnic slurs against them. For some reason, they let him out again, and he again failed, failed to appear in court for those crimes. So he has an outstanding warrant in that case. Manafo was again arrested in December of 2020 for simple assault. He has another outstanding warrant in that case. Then in January of 2021, he was arrested again in California for fighting. He spent one day in jail and the prosecutor says they have no idea what's going on with that case. Um, in April of 2021, Manafo was arrested for threats that he made to the emergency line that I mentioned. So he was subsequently sentenced to two years in prison for that. I've, I've done an update on that in the past. While he was in prison for those crimes, for threatening to kill police, he was charged with, quote, placing a bodily fluid on a government employee. I don't even want to know. I do not want to know what bodily fluid that was. <laughs> anyway, they dismissed that charge. Yeah, let him go on that. But they said there's already an ongoing investigation in relation to another incident while he was in prison. Apparently, a group of 12 inmates ganged up on and assaulted two other inmates. And Manafo is to believe, or is believed to have been involved in the 12 person gang. <laughs> the government also mentioned some sort of tragic personal and family circumstances, and it appears that he's been ordered to take part in mental health treatment, but he has refused. A lot of this information was redacted, but it sounds like he's been in and out of mental health facilities for a while. And quote, when he felt like his demands were not being met, he urinated on the floor, threw things at staff. U.S. District Judge James Bosberg presided over Manafo's case, and I couldn't locate any details about what was said at the sentencing hearing, but Manafo was sentenced to only 33 months in prison, three years of probation, and 2,000 in restitution. I don't know what it's going to take. I don't know what it will take to get this guy off the streets. He is like a ticking time bomb. It seems like someone's going to have to die, sadly before the prosecutors and the judges take this threat seriously. I mean, I don't question why he was a Trump supporter, right? Peas in a pod and all that. <laughs> anyway, I'll let you all know when or if I hear more, more likely, more likely if I hear more about him. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. Become a donor if possible. Love you guys. Take care, and I'll talk with you soon.